Hi everyone, welcome back to my basic fire tutorial series. This video series was created for the master program in data science for healthcare and clinical informatics at Faculty of Medicine, Ramatibadi Hospital. And now we are in the module 2, HTTP interaction and searching. My name is Rat Panyawat. I'm a doctor and I work for Thai Health Information Standard Development Center and you can contact me in this channel. Today's agenda is searching in fire, which is the last topic of module 2. Before I begin, I wish to thank you for the presentation from uh, Mr. Nathanai Chaipipat. Uh, he is a pharmacy and he is my friend from Standard and Interoperative Lab Thailand and Sililat Hospital. Uh, because uh, most of the content of this presentation, I would say I heavily inspired by his presentation. Uh, if you have a chance, maybe you listen to his presentation somewhere. Fire search. If you remember, last time we talked about HTTP interaction and we skipped the search things. And that is the topic of today because it's a pretty big topic. Uh, Fire search is searching for a set of resources based on some filter criteria. And you can do it by get method and post method. The result will return as a bundle with the type search step. So if you want to do it with a get method, I I think this I think this one is more popular than the post method. You can do it as a structure like this. You send a get request to a base, file base uh, URL, and then, and then you specify the type and some parameters. But if you want to do it with a post method, you send a post request to the base URL, the last, the type as well, but you use the search word like this, underscore search, and then you put parameter after the search word. Uh, if you want to put the parameter in the URL, it must be uh, after the question mark symbol, like a query string. And you can do it another way as well. Uh, if you don't want to put it in the URL, you can put it in the web, web, web form. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it put it inside the body of the request message. And then you post to this URL all other parameter put inside the body. I have a happy fire server running on my machine right now, this one. And I will, let's say that I want to search for a patient. So use this format, right? The base URL is this one. Base is two here. How does I know? Because tell us on the home page of the happy file that this is the best URL. You put the base here, this one, and then you put the resource type. And in this case, uh, if I want to find a patient, and then uh, I put, maybe I search by name, right? something like this. And here the result will be a search set. And this is the entry. In the entry is, uh, in this case, it's found only one resource which has the name Brad. Uh, maybe I find some some other name. Yeah, some child. Now we found two resource, and here is the first resource, and there is another one. Uh, in this case, I show you that I use the get method to search, right? But if I want to use a post method, I can do it this way. I move here, I put a search keyword and then parameter after that, send. The result is the same as I send a get request or you use this one, the www form something and then you just remove it. Name, some shy. All right, so shy. And you can have multiple uh, 
uh, multiple uh, parameter as well gender yeah, it's still same that is how to search with the get and post method so mainly throughout this session I will use a get method for search because it just I'm just more familiar it is easier to put everything in the URL so that is so you may wonder what is the difference between reading and searching when we get the same thing uh, actually it's not quite the same thing because when you send when you read a resource if you remember from last session here this is read interaction we get the resource back but if you search you get a bundle back with the type of search slit and your resource is inside the entry of that bundle so this is the difference maybe it's not just one resource back maybe it's 10 resources that match this criteria but in this case actually it's not possible because id is unique but if it let's say another things yeah another parameter you will you can have a lot of return result back so that is how to search how to perform a search actually it's pretty simple you just send a get request to uh, the url the type and you spe specify the parameter but this parameter is the one that complicate search parameter each parameter has a type that define its behavior uh, i will show you later what it does it mean and there will be parameters that common to all resource and parameters that specific to each resource for resource specific parameters the name of the parameters don't need to match the name of the resource element and not all resource element can be searched okay so these three bullets seem confusing i will show you one by one this is a summary of searching in fire you can visit it here so this is search parameter type we have uh, several type uh, and this is the parameter for all resource and this is the parameter to control the result after the search and we will have another set of parameter for individual resource like this one this is a search parameters for patient resource where can we find this you go to the uh, fire you go to the resource page and then the search parameter is at the end of that resource page come back to this page what does it mean uh, you may see this type of search parameter there are several type of search parameter and if you come to the search page there will be a parameter for all this one is also for all and there will be this uh, specific parameter for this resource and and as you can see here the name of the parameter is address and it will search on the element name address or where is that address as well but but there will be some parameter name like this one date date if you go here you will see that there is no date date in this uh, resource the only thing that have is this is the time so this is what i mean the name of the parameter this one don't need to match the name of the element and not all element here can be searched you can search only for some element and basic searching in case you want to searching for a patient resource with the name but then you what you send a get request to the base url select by type and you see what what is the element that you want 
and what is is the name of the search parameter that can get you that element in this case uh, is the name or family or given where is given this one so it has slightly different meaning thing uh, but all of them can be used to search for a name and if you want to search for a patient which HN is one of an example hospital you send this uh, get request this is the search uh, parameter type token that I will talk later but you put the system of the identifier here and you put the value here then you can get the patient with the HN uh, one thing to remark is that uh, in some web server if you want to send it with postman like this uh, you have to encode some character like this one before sending so this one will become let's say I don't remember what how to encode this character so I came here then I can click encode this will enclose, uh, encode every character but from what I try I just need to encode a five character <laughs> I don't know why it has to be just only a five but that is what I found and then you can send it yes error oh okay to like this yeah it's not foul but that now it work for for local host that I deploy here I don't have to do that but for for a host that I the happy file that I deploy on the a cloud I have to do this that is one thing you might have to keep in mind when uh, dealing with search and if you have uh, multiple parameters uh, you can put it together and use the character, this character ampersand character between two parameter so fire patient name rat and gender male so the result must be the patient who name rat and gender male so if the patient name rat and gender female it will not include in the search result you can also provide multiple values so let's say that so for example uh, file a patient name rat or name panyawat in this search request so in this case if the patient name rat panyawat it will include right but if name rat the last name is another is also include or name other but last name is Panyawat it also include because we combine the value with all we can even have uh, multiple parameters and multiple value by combining these two like a fire patient name Rat or name Panyawat and has a gender male or gender female we can do it this way so in this case if we have a patient named Rat with the gender female it will include in the search result search context one thing you might need to consider when searching is the search context if you remember from the previous section that uh, HTTP search actually they are in two level of interaction the type level and the system level in our previous example we do it on a type level like this we send a get request to a base url and specify a type that is a resource type level context but actually there are two more contexts for search a system level uh, you can do it this way you send a parameter directly to the base url it will become like this this means that search for and a resource with the ID one two three four, and no matter what type of that resource is, it will search the whole system. But however, this does not support in the happy JPA, so I cannot show you. Another thing that you might confuse 
is at the compartment level. This is this one is also not support in happy as well. But compartment is grouping the resource in the same group. So uh, for some server, you can do it this way. You can find all observation of a patient who has the ID 1, 2, 3, 4, and that observation has the status equal final. So you can do it this way in, in other server, but in happy JPA from what I research and from what I try, uh, look like I, it doesn't support. So what we mainly dealing with is this one, that resource type level context. So now we have finished the introduction part. Now is the complicated part. We will begin with the search parameter type. There are nine parameter types. Some are simple, uh, some are a bit complex. For the spatial type, I will not talk about it today. Uh, you may wonder why we have to have the parameter type. Why don't we just use the data type for searching? Because that will make things more complicated. Like uh, maybe a different type, but we can use the string to search on it. That is why we have to have the search parameter type. For a simple one, number is searching with a number, a whole number or decimal, pretty straightforward. Date is searching with a date or time. String, searching with string. String is case insensitive and accent insensitive. Uh, token, this one is start to be complicated. I will talk later. Reference later. Composite later. Quality later. URI is searching on a UI. Uh, this one is different from string in that is uh, match must be precise, case accent, escape sensitive. So those are the simple one. Uh, the complex one. Token is for searching on a coded element or identifier. Uh, it can be only a string or namespace and string like this. Reference is searching on an element that reference to other resource. Composite is doing a composite search on a two value. And quantity is searching on a data type that is called quantity. So I will show you one by one on this complex type. And here is an example for each parameter type. For a number, put the number, it's pretty simple. Uh, this is the search parameter name and the value we provide is two. So this is finding in an immunization recommendation resource for the resource that have the dose number equal two, that is the second dose. And then you put a date here, string, string, token, you put it like this, the namespace, this is the uh, parameter name, this name space, this is value, reference, you can put it this way, there is uh, several ways to reference, but you can put it this way. Composite is combining two search parameter, this one and this one. Quantity, and you have a unit, the system of the unit, and the actual unit, URI, just simple string, but it's case sensitive, uh, and uh, everything sensitive in the URI. It's special. Yeah, this one is complicated. I skip it. Okay, so now we will focus on these four complicated parameter types. Token. I will demonstrate to you with the condition resource with the element name code. So if you come to the condition resource, you will see that it has an element named code and it's codable concept. And you can search for it with the type token search parameter. It's a code like a code of the disease for the diagnosis, for example. So you have four options to search with the token type. Uh, if you want to search by only the code, you can do it this way. Uh, this is the parameter name, uh, is this one, 
is also an element name and parameter name, this one. This is the code of the diagnosis that we want to search. So if you put it this way, it will search any conditions with a code HA125 like this, like this. The next one is the, I would say the, the full one, the typical token type search things. Uh, you do it this way, put the system and separate it by byte and then put a code. So you know that it's from this code system. Uh, you can change it to ICD-10 SNOMED if your code is from that system. So the, the search request will become like this. Condition, uh, query, code, code is the name of the parameter, right? And here is the system, separate by byte, and then the, the actual code that you want to search. It means that any condition with a code here in that, in this code system. The next one, if you remove the system, it will become like this. There's still a byte and the code here. So it means that any code uh, any condition with a code HA125 but no system property. So if you see in the codable concept here, it will be this one. It's a group of coding, right? And in the coding, it has a code and a display and a system. So you don't have to specify the system. You can just put a code if you want to do that. So in this case, it will find a condition with a code but no system specific here. So it's like an empty system. And for this one, you keep only the system but you remove uh, the, the code. So this means that any condition that has this code system. So this is a token type. You may feel like it a bit complicated, but if you work with the coding codable concept identifier thing or, or quite often, and you will understand that it's, it's nothing. Basically, most of the time we use this one, specify the system and specify the code for searching. Next is a reference type. In this case, I use the observation resource so back here, observation. So observation resource has a element name subject, which the type reference uh, with the type reference that can reference to multiple type of resource. It can reference to patient, to group, to device, or to location, and you can also search for the subject with the search parameter. Here, search parameter. You search for a, just a subject like this, but the type of the search is reference. So here is how to do a search with the reference type. If you know the ID of the patient that you are referencing, Maybe it's this one, it's the ID. You can uh, put it here. Subject is the parameter name, right? If you know the ID, you can put it this way. Just put the ID here. Or if you also want to specify the type, you can put the type here and the ID. This will become the relative URL, right? Uh, like when we reference in our resource, we we also do it this way. Or you can put the absolute URL if you want, like this. This is, let's say that you know that the resource was stored here, then you can put the absolute URL to that resource as a value for this search parameter. The next one is quantity type. This one is for searching on an element that has a quantity data type. And here is the format. You specify the prefix 
and I will talk about it later in this session. The main thing is the number that you want to search, the system and the code. For example, we want to search on the observation again for the quantity of 5.4. So it's the value quantity. Value quantity here. We search for this element value quantity value quantity yeah this one is type is quantity we search for this one with this uh, search parameter and the type of this parameter is quantity it's like this so this one is the search parameter name right uh, if you want to put only the the number here 5.4 it means that any observations with a value equal to 5.4 and you don't care what is the unit of this number. If you put the number here, it has two bytes because the format has two bytes, right? <laughs> between number system and between system and code. So you have to have two bytes. Uh, this means that any observation with the value is 5.4 and the unit is uh, mg, milligram. If you put the system here, this is the full thing in the quantity type search. So it means that any observation uh, with a value as a 5.4, the unit is milligram, and this unit is from the U UCUM unit. It doesn't mean other milligram, but it's the UCUM milligram. So this is the full quantity type search. And here, uh, just a demo of putting the prefix here, like this. LE is mean less, less than or equal. So is that uh, any observation with a value less than or equal 5.4. And the other thing is the same as this one. That is the type of the parameter. The next one is parameter that all resource has this parameter that you can search. We have 10 parameters in this type. Most of them came from some elements in the resource or domain resource uh, because most resource in fire, they inherit from resource and domain resource. So that element that are in these two resource can be exist in all resource in fire. That's why we can search with this parameter. Because it's because it's inherently in, inside it already, and there are four additional parameters: content, list, has, and type. Five of them is from base resource, and text from domain resource, and this one is additional. So this one is okay. I will show you in the specification. Now we are in observation, right? observation inherit from domain resource and domain resource inherit from resource so domain resource had this text element and we can search with this search parameter on this text element and on resource bed resource we have this element all fire resource can have this element inside them and here is the search parameter. So this search parameter correspond with this resource. So that is why we can search with this parameter. And for the meta one, uh, here is the structure of the meta. There are many elements inside its structure. And you might notice that this one then this one, this one. Oh, sorry. This, 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 this. This, 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 this. It became the search parameter that we can do on all resource. So when we use this as a search parameter, it actually finding the information on a corresponding element inside. Uh, that resource which inherit from resource or domain resource. 
that that is how it works and we have four additional uh, parameter content is searching for the entire entire of the resource uh, list is used with the re list resource which is uh, I am not talking about it today has I will talk it later and type uh, there are some occasion that we want to to search by a type that which I will not talk about it today either okay so let's demo for some searching with the parameter for all resource I have a uh, five case uh, if you want to do it yourself just pause this video and then try to create a search query search parameter you can send the request to this URL if you want is a public file server for testing purpose yeah it's a happy file public test server all right uh, in case you already did it or you want me to show how to do it uh, I will copy all of this to to here and this one I think it's this one okay for every search request we have to send it send a get request to the bed the best URL right so it's like this and okay so now finding a patient with a logical ID how we do that we want to find a patient right so that we have to send the request to a patient resource okay and with a logical ID so this one is pretty simple right which search parameter we can use we go to the document page and see about the search and these are parameter for our resource we want to find an id so it must be id right so it's id equal this one okay like this and you and if you search it this one you can send to a public server like this and you will find it and maybe someone created it I don't know next one file all patient with last change on this day as a server local time zone so it's still a patient right which parameter to use last chain so it has to be last update last update right and last update uh, if you <laughs> scroll down here you will see that last update has a type as date so we have to put some date here and that date is and right last chain on this day and the next one is we want to find a condition that has the word diabetes in it on the entire content so it's not be a condition resource for sure and for the search parameter we have the content uh, parameter for searching the entire content so it will become like this equal diabetes so that is the next filing condition again uh, having a diabetes on a narrative section what is the narrative section if you come to the domain resource here you will see that there is a text element with the type narrative this is the uh, text narrative of that resource and each resource that inherit from domain resource can choose to have the text narrative for it so 
we want to search on this thing how do we do that we'll come here and we will see that there is a text parameter for searching and how can you can go here and see that there is a text for searching the narrative so that is text equal diabetes as well and the last one file observation so it has to be observation that conform to a file but pressure profile oh i haven't talked about it yet you may be confused about it so i will just give the answer and here is the parameter for searching the profile it's like this one equal and we put this here And that it is the answer. All right, so we come back to the our demo slide, and we will see that the answer is all of this. Uh, I I hope you get some idea of how to do it, or maybe you want to take a moment to try to understand it. Search parameter is a topic that has many detail, and you need to think following the topic quite a lot uh, in order to understand uh, what is going on. So that is the search parameter for all resource. Next, we will talk about search parameters specific to resources. Uh, each file resource, you have its own set of search parameter with the name, type, and meaning. Like a patient resource here, they have its own search parameter. And one element might have several parameters refer to. What does it mean? is that for some element you can search is different way like uh, you can search the name with the family with the name and the given right so it's point to uh, point to some pretty the same element there is a be better example than name but I, I hope you understand uh, some parameter may have the same name across resource what does it mean if you go to this page, you will see that there is all the search parameter in fire and or maybe this one, gender. If you click here, you will find that this search parameter exists in four resource. Uh, each resource serve different meaning right so it's the gender of different person but but it's the same word for searching and the server doesn't need to support all search parameter it can choose to support only for some parameter okay if we go back to a patient resource here and you see this this is an example of searching that uh, specific to a patient resource. So name is searching for the name, uh, either first name or last name, given it first, address, address used, this one different to the address, and in address we have the use element. So we can use the address used to go directly to that element and gender identifier is identifier this one birth date is birth date and organization type is reference so is this one managing organization reference you may see the number one two three four this that's just a fictional number and it's different thing uh, because this one is type reference so this one is logical id of the resource uh, this one one two three four is business identifier for identify this patient and sometimes you see this session and you you are not sure what does this uh, refer to uh, actually you can see here in the expression this will 
uh, explain where does this uh, search parameter name uh, match to in the fire element. Uh, how to write an expression is another complicated topic, but I hope you read it and you quite understand. It's like a, it's like when you do an object thing in programming. You specify the resource and then the element, and if that element have a child, it's another dot, and that child element. This column is a good place to find where that is search parameter point two exactly okay next is the demo for resource specific search parameter maybe you want to read this uh, pause the video and try to finish all of this by yourself if you don't want to do that i will show you how to do it So for the first question, find all patients whose given name start with if. So where to send this request to? It must be a patient resource. And how do we search for a given name? If we come here to the patient resource, we will see that. Are there any any resource that we can use to search for a name. Yes, there is given name, there is named, there is family name. So in this case, given seem to be the most appropriate. So, oh, you may notice that if it's the search parameter for a resource specific, it will not have the underscore in front of it. So it will become just a word like this. And we want to search for the name Eve. So it's like this. You can try searching on a, a public server. This one. I think there will be a lot of Eve here. Yes, it's 156 patients who have a name start with if. That is pretty a lot. The next one is five or patient given name start with Eve or Adam who live in Massachusetts. So this one we have to combine two things, the name and the address. And also uh, the we have to have an or between if and Adam. So basically, patient given equal if. How to do or? Put the comma, right? Adam, this or this one. And to search for another thing, then we have to put an add. And Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I think we can use Massachusetts is state or oh I think it is state but we can even use address I think right address equal Massachusetts and this is we done so the next one is file all condition so now we file all condition uh, which Diagnose of GM type 2 in some CT code of 44 are this thing. So we have to find a condition resource. Resource and condition resource. Where is this? Here. With a diagnosis code of this one. So it diagnosis code. This, this element and this, we can find it with code code search parameter name and with the type of token so we can start by some place holder like this this must be a system of synonymous and 
this one. So how, how do we find a system for snowman? It's here and I think it's here. It's already uh, available from fire. So it's this one, condition and search with the parameter name code and here is the value as a token type. Next is file all observation which observe the temperature at uh, 38. So this is an observation. We will want the temperature so is must be value quantity right and to search on value quantity with uh, element we use search parameter name value quantity and the type quantity so observation uh, copy here and if you remember there are three three things to fill in in the quantity type and that is number system and code so number is 38 system we don't know yet and code is this one uh, actually I, I i i give it here to make it uh, shorter uh, cell is a unit for uh, degree celsius in ucum so to find the ucum is same as the snowman you go here terminology ucum and here is the system and that is the search parameter to search for this information uh, next is observation for patient who has a logical id is this one so with observation right and where the patient where the patient so be back to observation again and if you see that there is a subject element that point to a patient resource so if we want to search for a patient from the observation resource we need to go here the parameter name is subject and the type is reference so put the subject here and the type reference how to do a parameter type reference by logical id like this right or you can put like this or if you know the url of the or if you know the absolute url you can put it this one sample.com like this but i will keep only the this part the patient and the id part because it seems like it want to refer to a patient maybe if we uh, it, as you can see that the subject can refer to other resource type uh, maybe if we just put the the id logical id uh, it might refer to other thing that is not a patient <laughs> but a logical id will not will be unique anyway so if this a, a patient it will be a patient uh, but if it's not a patient and you put it like this it will throw an error or not foul or something mm -hmm. uh, the last one is file file observation which observe the heart rate with an Loin code this one and value at 60 so this is combining things again so we have to deal with observation code this thing type of observation and the value quantity of 60 
so I will do it this way so the search parameter is code equal uh, system some system loin and then the code is here and we have to find another thing is the value quantity equal 60 and just grab some URL for loin so it is this thing finding an observation with Lloyd code like this and value like this uh, we don't put a unit here because we don't know the unit the the question doesn't give us so I think this is it and if we came back here you will find that I already fill in the answer for you uh, you can read it and revise about it and think about how, why does it work the way it is all right so this is the resource specific search parameter next one is modifier and prefix modifier are letters append to a search parameter like this you have a patient this is the resource type this is the parameter name, right? You put a modifier after the parameter name to, to have more control over the behavior of this search. Uh, if you put it exact like this, it will find the name rat r like this, exactly case sensitive. Not rat, no rat like this. Uh, because if you remember that the string search is not case sensitive is case insensitive right but if you put it like this it has to be exactly like this this is how modifiers works prefix are uh, later that prepend to a parameter value uh, that is the that are quite a number that quantity type uh, if you say it like this but that equal greater than gt uh, this number is finding a patient who born after this date. So that is an overview of modifier and prefix. So now we will go in detail for each items. Uh, modifiers are uh, specified as a suffix of a parameter name, like this one, uh, after the colon uh, character. Uh, the kind of modifier is depending on the type of parameter. Uh, I will show you later what does this mean. Uh, modifier are not used on a composite parameter. I haven't talked about this yet, but just have to point out here because it related to this one. Okay, so the format is like this. And here is a lot of modifier. From this bullet, kind of modifier is depending on the type of parameter so this is the type and each type of uh, parameter has different kind of modifier but i would say uh, most of the parameter type that has modifier are the type that are string or things that related to string like this one this one this one and the only exception is the all type can have a missing modifier. If, if we put a missing modifier after the gender like this and we specify it as true, it means that finding all patients who doesn't have a gender element. But however, a happy fire that I test doesn't allow this. Yeah, so maybe you have to use it with uh, another server. But, but it's, a, it's a useful modifier for uh, searching on a missing element. Or maybe you want to use gender, uh, modifier missing, equal false. Then you, you, you will have only the patient that has gender. Next one is the type string. 
they are mainly to modify the exact and contains exact is as i showed you earlier if you have exact here yeah, and if like this it will match only if not if not if with a big if uh, but if it's contained and you put if like this uh, Evelyn will include Severin will also include uh, because you have if here and if here uh, next one for the token type uh, I think the important one is the text and the not text is for searching for the text or display on that uh, element uh, you have to see this the codable concept uh, at the same time in code here yeah, we have codable concept in codable concept we have text and in coding we have display so this text modifier will search uh, on this element of the codable concept so if you put head, head edge like this it will find all condition that the code element has a word head edge in the text element or in the display element so complicated right but that is how it is <laughs> the next one is the in modifier this one will search for a condition and that has a code element and that code it in specific where you set that you specify uh, maybe it's uh, you give it the URL like this one for for this URL and it will only include the condition that has a code that in that value set okay next is below uh, when you use it like this it means that finding all condition that had a code uh, and that code is below or is a child is a children of this code uh, what does it mean snowmap browser okay so so this synomate code is neoplasm of liver and this means that it will include all condition resource that has a code and those codes are like this one any of this one that are children of this concept because it's below right below of this concept above is the contrary uh, if you set it like this it means that it will return uh, any condition that has a code that in this group any of these parent of this one of this concept so that is above below and above and not and uh, this one is simple it will if you put it like this it will return any patient that is not a male okay and for for the type uri uh, there are also below and above modifier as well for the below if you search a value set like this and you give a url this one it means that it will return any value set that has a url start with this one with this one because it's below this one uh, in the contrary above if you give it this one it will include every url that is above this so this one have here this one is above this one right yeah but in fire spec it said that it doesn't not often useful <laughs> and the last type is reference uh, we have uh, type modifier to specify the type of that parameter name uh, if you remember on the observation because subject can reference to many types if you specify the type like this 
uh, it, it make more explicit that what you want is which type it will be useful in chaining. Yeah, that's it, a later topic in this session. The last one is identifier. Uh, in case you don't know the logical ID, right? This one, the logical ID is the thing that the server gives you when you send the resource to a server, or, or if you want to specify it yourself by update as create. Uh, but if you don't know it, you can use the vicinate identifier for for referencing as well. Uh, you can do it by the identifier modifier like this. The subject is parameter name, modifier, identifier. Put a system of identifier and the value for identifier. And that is. So the next is another demo as always. If you want to pause this video and try it yourself, please go on. Otherwise, uh, follow me. All right, so let's begin. I will copy all of them here. And then I will put it like this. And everyone has to send to a base. Just Base URL, base like this. Okay, by patient, patient, patient condition, where you said observation. I think I will fill in it first. Patient, finding patient. I think you already understand why I this like this. Where you said observation. So file or patient whose gender is not specified. Uh, patient. So we have gender here and gender is not specified. How to do that? Missing, right? Missing equal to file patient given name given you remember contain how to do the content theme contain uh, modifier equal if this one and next given name is exact so given exact or oh, exact oh if this one like this file or condition diagnosis text contain diabetes so it has to be condition is code and code modifier text contain diabetes this one all values that belong to the IPS belong to IPS artifact so the URL start with this one so it has to do with Okay, I will show you the value set first. And the value set has the URL element here with the type URI. And you can search that element with this URL parameter, with the URI parameter type. That is quite complicated, right? Okay. So how to search the URI type? We are going to search the URL element with the URL type, right? Like this one. So we want to search like this, but we want uh, every value set that below this URL. URL below this one. And the last one, file our observation link to the patient as a subject. So observation, observation. That link to a patient as a subject. So it has to be 
this subject element right it has to be this subject parameter and the type is reference how to do the reference this one reference but it wants you to specify uh, a patient as a subject so you have to add the type uh, when you putting a type the type is uh, this one is start with a capital letter so it's like this so observation subject and patient equal this one yeah I think that is all for this uh, demo yeah I put all the answer here you can yeah read it again and try to understand uh, if you not understand but if you already get everything then it's great next is prefix uh, prefix can be used with thing that is a uh, number date or quantity prefix is quite similar to uh, modifier it just put it in a different position uh, modifier put it at the, after the name prefix put it before the value but if you don't put any prefix uh, that means that actually is the you are using the prefix e, eq uh, from that stand for equal uh, so it assumes that you are using the eq prefix there is a prefix name start after and end before this one used with date or decimal but not with integer and here is the format so now is the example term uh, equal is pretty straightforward equal is equal <laughs> so parameter uh, any parameter uh, equal 100 and uh, this is the same as parameter uh, eq 100 uh, if you use it with date it like this uh, not equal uh, not equal but when you are dealing with date or range there are some implicit thing that you have to think when you create a search parameter like this one not equal to uh, if you said it that uh, any parameter the date not equal to uh, 2013 uh, the 14th of January so if the if in the resource is like this uh, the same date but it specify the time as well so this view doesn't match for this search query because it assumes that this is the whole day of that date and this point of time is in this whole day so if you said that it not equal to that means that it has some part of it equal to <laughs> so that so that it so that make it doesn't match yeah greater than yeah greater than 14 of january 10 a.m this one match why because it assumed that this whole day there will be some part of this day that is greater than 10 a.m and less than as well there will be some part that is less than 10 a.m so if you said like this uh, this value can match to both search condition greater than or equal if you search like this 14 of March uh, and in the resource the value is after 21 of January it will include right yeah because from the 21st of January there is February March April May uh, there are some part of this information that greater than this date and less than or equal after 21st of January is also matched because after 21st there are 22nd there are February that is less than 14 of March approximately uh, this one is for plus or minus 10% of value or 10% between now and the date I'm not quite understand this one either but if you said it like this AP 100 99.5 is matched because it's 
between the 10% of 100 and AP 14 of March. This one is not matched, maybe because it's too close to March. But if you change it to uh, 2015, this one is not matched. Yeah, this is from the fire spec itself. Maybe if we search it again in the future, it changed because the 10 because the 10 percent between now and that date is changing. But I would say I I rarely use this prefix. Most of the time I use equal or some basic things. Uh, start after and end before. I never use this as well, but it's from the spec and to make you understand it. Uh, this is the timeline and this is the uh, 21st of January. This is 15. This one is the date that they forecast. Uh, I, I represent the start after with the blue box and end before with the pink box. This is the timeline. After 15 of March, it's included because it's in the blue box. After 21st of January, is not included because it has some part that is not in the blue box. Uh, if you if you read it, it's quite obvious. Uh, after 21st, it means that it already start before the 14th of March. Before and including 21st, so this is one, it obviously not include because it is not in the blue box at all. And before, if we search that end before this date, after 15th of March is not included because it's not in the pink one. After 21st is not included as well because it has some part that is beyond the blue or uh, the pink box. And we say that it end before this day. And this one is not end before this day before and including so this box is include because it's in the blue or uh, the pink box complicated right i never use it as well but it's in the spec so i want you to to know about it maybe you use it someday okay now is the time for demo of searching with prefix as always if you want to practice Pause this video and try it yourself. Otherwise, follow me. So I have copy of it here and I will put the paste here and paste here. Okay. The first question, okay, everyone is fighting observation. Okay, start from 1st January, observation. It has to be some, some date around here. I think there is issue date and effective date. Maybe if we see in the search parameter. Oh, that is date. Oh, so it, it used effective date. Okay, so it has a date parameter here. We can use it. So date greater. Oh, start from. So start from is. It has to be equal or greater. Greater or equal, I think. First, first, okay. Next one is start from this and end before that. So I think in this case, we can use the combine parameter. Uh, like this one. And Maybe I think yeah, this one. I think this one until so must be equal until less than or equal and 
first 15 yeah I think it is like this start from first and end before or that day get the less than or equal next is observation with temperature over this one as a UCUM unit so it has to be value quantity that over so it's greater than head and the system and cell and go finding the system this one mm -hmm. and this one observation with about okay this one is had to be this copy here about is ap approximately so yeah i think that is so this is the answer of this question so that is the prefix and modifier next one is managing the return resource and so most of the time we use this thing because when you send the search request to the server it return a bundle as a search set right right and we can manage that bundle to like a sort it or limit the number of resource in that bundle okay so we so we will go one by one the first one is sort yeah and the type is string if you put it like this sort it means that sort the search result by setup and followed by date and category but the date you sort it with the descending because you have the minus so it will the latest date came first followed by the earlier date count is that you limit the the number of the resource that return in that bundle so if we say it like this it means that it will return only 10 patient resources summary uh, you have to choose value from here to this one uh, if you make it true like this it means that it will return only the elements in the resource that have an each summary fact this one is the thing that I skip <laughs> in the session about a resource but actually when you go here there is a flex right and you see the sigma sigma icon this is the summary if you put a parameter here like this it will return only the element that is each summary next is uh, underscore elements parameter all, all of this has underscore because it can be used with all resource because it's for managing the search result right so element you can specify which element you want so if you specify like this it will return only identifier active link it will not return the whole resource as a normal behavior next is contain and contain type uh, I, I never use this uh, these two and I can use this on on my local as well uh, what does it mean is that in resource actually we can put another inside that resource as a contained resource uh, how that is came from it came from this one the contain element in the domain resource uh, if you click here to see more you will see an example that in resource condition we can put the uh, practitioner resource inside the contain element and you can put any, any resource as a contain uh, and you can and you can reference it like this it, it, it's the internal reference uh, if it's possible we, we don't want to create a contain resource because we will not be able to access it directly from let's say this one and we want to access 
that practitioner, we cannot because it's inside the, the, the condition resource. So if it's possible, we will we try to create as a separate resource and reference between resource. But maybe some occasion, we need to do the contain resource way. So that is its contain resource. And normally when we search a resource, the return result will not have the contained resource inside the resource that return. If we want the resource that return to have a contained resource show to us, we have to specify underscore contain equal to like this or both like this. And contain type is to specify that the, the resource that return will return a container, uh, the, the one that have a contained resource or the thing that is contained inside it. Uh, yeah, it's quite complicated then. And I, I don't have experience using it in my implementation. And the next one is uh, include and REV include, I think it's reverse include. Yeah. When you perform a search query from the beginning of this session up until now, it will return only one type of resource, right? Like this one. We will return observation, this one patient, but include is that you tell the server to return another resource that you want to include in that resource. Uh, to do that, that resource must reference to the resource you want to include. For example, if you make a request like this, it will return a medication request resource but it will include the patient resort that the medication resource refer to as well. So if you go here, the medication request has a patient parameter here that refer to a patient resource. That is why you can include it in your search result like this. And re reverse include is in another direction. Uh, let's say that you have a medication request and you say it like this. Uh, medication dispense, this one, has a prescription parameter that refer to the medication request resource. If you create a search query like this, it means that return a medication resources, but also include the medication dispense resource that refer to this medication resource as well in the search result. So that is we include and reverse include. All of this is complicated. It's at, actually, it's pretty advanced. I think you, you don't have to worry about it yet. Okay, so now is demo time for the managing re return and resource. As always, if you want to pause, pause now. Otherwise, follow me. So, okay, have you filled in everything? Observation, observation. Patient, patient, quiz, patient, patient. All right, so retrieve observation, sort that by all that observe date. So I think this one is sort by date, like this. And next one, sort by category and latest date, respectively. So, and it's sort by category. Do you have a category to sort for? I have to check first. OK. 
Okay. Uh, when when you sort the search result, uh, it can only sort by the parameter like this. So if you want to sort by category, you have to check if it has category or not. Okay, so it has category, then you can sort by category, and sort by date is not like the other uh, question, but it won the latest date first, so it has to be this one, descending. Okay, retrieve patient only the element that is summary. So I go back here is like this summary and we have to specify it is true because this that parameter name we have to put the value for the name only the name and birth date so we have to specify like this and name yeah this one this one will make you confused uh, because when you sort things, you sort by the search parameter. But when you want to uh, return only specific element, now you have to see the element name here. So it's this one. Ready? Like this. Yeah. Next, retrieve medication request include the patient which are reference so this one is medication request and includes so you have to use include like this and include what include medication request and now we are back to the parameter again so we have to be patient like this so we see medication uh, this one is request there is a patient parameter with a type reference so it's not it's not a subject it's not an element you have to use the patient uh, parameter to use in a search query like this and the next one we want to retrieve a patient and Allergy intolerant refer to this patient, so it has to be ref include equal allergy intolerance that reference to. Uh, I'm not sure what what the search parameter they use. Hmm. They use patient yeah they use patient so the last one retrieve patient with a logical id like this include all other resource which refer to it include all other resource refer to it so it has to be ref include thing right and logical id how to do this search so it's here so my biological id and the number is this one and right logical id this one and include all other resource how to do this yeah i just know from uh, mr data nine as well that we can do like this put the star and it will include everything that refer to this patient oh i forget the include all right if you don't trust me <laughs> i will try it for you right, this one to the public fire server and then i send it and then i got the bundle search set and it has a total one it has a total one with everything included in it 
total one, which means that there is one patient that match and include everything that refer to this patient. So it became around 4,000 lines. All right, so uh, that it is for all the question. And here is all the answer in the slide. Put it here. And now we are in the last topic of today, advanced searching. Uh, I will talk about three things. Composite search parameter type, the thing that I uh, skipped from earlier, that when I said that there are several types of search parameter, they are composite as well. But I never talk about it. Now I will talk about it here, composite and chain parameter and reverse chaining parameter. And there are other at one topic as well, but I will not talk about it because it will very bloat that the this session. So the first one is composite type. It used for pairing the search element. I think I think give an example will make you understand quicker. Here is the observation resource. There is a code value quantity and is a search parameter and the type is composite. It's composite between the code and the value quantity, like this one. What does it mean? If you search with the code parameter like this, the type is token, right? And to add to this one is the code for the potassium test. So if you search it like this, it means that search for all observation that has a code element that the code is this code uh, from the line code system. So this is code parameter, the first one. Uh, if you search with the value quantity parameter, this one search for the quantity type. And if you put it like this, quantity has three parts. This one, this one, this one. This one is value, system, and unit. It means that search for any observation that has a value more than uh, 5.4 uh, minimal. It can be any lab test that has value more than this one. If you composite both of them like this, the first part come from this part, the second part come from this part and you separate it with this dollar sign, it will mean that search for the observation that has a code as a potassium test and has the value uh, more than 5.4 millimole. Actually, this one is the same as this one. This one. You can do it this way as well. Yeah, for for this situation is fine, but when you search query is more and more com complex. You you will not be able to do that way, and you have to composite thing like this, and then and and or another one. So this is an example of the composite data type. Chain parameter, a uh, chain net parameter. To do this, it, it must be used with the parameter with the reference type. And you use the dot character to search with the parameter of the reference resource. <laughs> what does it mean? So let's say that you want to search for a diagnostic report that has a subject name Peter. So we search the diagnostic report, right? Search for a subject it has a diagnostic report and we search for the subject the subject this one the subject 
reference to other one and in other one we have the name parameter so that we can change it from here change to here so it will become like this we search the diagnostic report for a subject who has a name as Peter and because the subject in diagnostic report can be anything so if you want to specify a type you can use a modifier like this to specify a type so it becomes subject uh, patient dot name equal Peter reverse chaining uh, this one is another direction from this one so it's selecting resource based on parameter of other resource that refer to them for example search for a patient that has uh, this is the has parameter you remember here we had the has parameter that can this in this box so that has an observation code this one and refer to that patient that is finding patient who have tested the potassium level before like this so it means that find the patient's resource because it the first one find an observation that refer to this patient but that observation has code as this one so this is reverse chaining complicated right yeah <laughs> Uh, I want to give you one slide for a searching that related to referencing that may make you a bit confused. So we have include, ref include, chaining, reverse chaining. These two is in this group. It's dealing with the search result. And these two are more like a make the search query more specific. So uh, these two return only one type of resource uh, these two return the resource you are searching and other resource that you included into the result let's compare with the observation and patient if you use include like this uh, you search observation and include observation colon subject it will retrieve observation right it will be retrieve observation resource and include the patient resource that the observation refer to if you use ref include like this one you will retrieve the patient resources and observation resource that refer to this patient it's quite similar but it's another direction this one observation and observation refer out this one is patient and observation that refer to in the patient. Okay, and chaining, chaining, if you put it like this, it will retrieve only the observation, not include other thing, only the observation that refer to a patient resource who name Peter. It's like filtering down the observation resources with the our value in the patient resource and reverse chaining if you put it like this that is retrieve the patient resource who has an observation that refer to that patient so it's quite similar but it's different direction this refer out this refer in like that i hope you <laughs> understand <laughs> if we put it into picture an observation resource has a subject element that refer to this patient resource if you use the include you search for the observation resource and you use include to include the patient so it will come back together on the other hand if you search the patient resource and you use rep include to include the observation that refer to this patient we come back together as well because you search this one and ref include that this one 
that prefer to this one, right? But if you use chaining, you search the observation, but you specify that you only want the observation that has a subject with particular value. So it will return only this one and filling down only the, the one that has a patient as you want. And reverse chaining, you search this one, patient who has an observation that refer to this patient and has the value that you want. <laughs> All right. So our last demo, as always, if you want to pause, please go on. Otherwise, follow me. File our observation, observation, diagnostic report, condition, patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first one, file our observation. Heart rate with low code. This one, so it has to be composite thing. So we find observation with the value, quantity, and code. Yeah. Find our observation, and we have value quantity and code so the composite one is code value quantity quantity composite one is code combo quantity i think this one is for com component yeah, it has to be this one composite mm -hmm. and equal the first one is system and the value is here and you do it with this dollar sign and 60 you don't specify the unit and so the terminology for line is mm -hmm, system this one yeah i think this one next find our solution with offset the SPP is greater or equal in a log code of I think SVP now has to be in a component and greater value I think it's quite similar to this one the difference is it has to be a component because the SPP is component mm -hmm. so it has to be this one and like code this one and the value is this thing and the system I don't know so maybe this one greater than or equal so we have to put greater than or equal Okay, it like this. Next, file our diagnostic report. Subject has the name of Peter. So it has to diagnostic report. Diagnostic report. And subject. Right, subject. Subject here. So the subject here. Name equal Peter and next where the subject which is the patient <laughs> yeah, okay so I think it's the same it just need us to specify like this find all conditions occur in an emergency encounter so it has to be a condition 
that link to an encounter which is the emergency so it has to be a condition a condition that link to an encounter like this link to an encounter like this and encounter has to be the class this one as an emergency this one so we can reference with the class okay so it has to be class equal if you want to specify a system you can specify this one for simplicity file or diagnostic report patient managed by an organization name good health it must link to diagnostic report so you can it has patient and subject as well okay then patient is fine patient dot patient and it has organization so it must be patient organization and organization reference to organization so it can name like this good help yeah maybe this one has to encode yeah encode for speed is centurion this one and file of patient who has an encounter on so it has to be patient who has an encounter that reference to that patient encounter reference to that patient uh, with the that patient with the value of encounter as this one so I think it's dead like this cool. yeah I think I think it is all right yeah it's pretty complicated search is a complicated issue and then yeah this is the all the answer here yeah all right so that is for today uh, I would say that uh, I would say that search syntax is quite simple. It's like this, get, base, type, and parameter. The thing that make it complicated is parameter because there is a lot of way to, uh, to specify the parameter like this. And sometimes it's very complicated and you have to think a lot about referencing things. So, so, if you have any question, feel free to uh, post in the comment or, or ask me in other channels or ask me when we meet on Wednesday. Alright, thank you very much for attending. Bye-bye.